Hello everyone, my name is Patty Wonder and I have been with Scentsy nine years next month. I have been fortunate enough to share Scentsy in two regions, region three and now region one. I only have about 50 minutes to hopefully make you feel something in your gut that's not indigestion and something in your heart. Um, so let's go. Help me out by raising your hand and look around when you raise your hand. Whose sponsor pretty much ghosted them after they joined? Who has had struggles, losses, and disappointment along your Scentsy journey? Look around. Who has felt like quitting, giving up? It's just too hard. Look around. Now, who has had a completely easy and smooth journey and everything worked out as you had thought it would? Look around. Do you feel different knowing that you're not alone? You are never alone in Sensi unless you choose to be. Let me repeat that. You are never alone in Sensi unless you choose to be. Let me share some little tidbits about me and what could have been excuses to not do so well. Number one, I was an immigrant in New Zealand when I started Sensi. I hadn't heard of it, smelled it, no idea what I was doing. And of course, because I was an immigrant, I didn't know a lot of people. But I had learned through my sales career that I collected phone numbers and business cards because you just never knew. So I didn't think and I just texted everyone, every name in my phone, emailed every email that I could find in my email list. And I got eight bookings the very first day and a team member, all within 12 hours of joining. And I still didn't have my kit and I still didn't know what I was doing. You don't need to see the whole staircase. You just need to take the first step. Take it. Don't overthink it. Number two, I had two back operations in my first three months in Sensi, but I still managed to earn my first free trip to cruise to leadership in Cozumel, Mexico. I asked for help carrying bags and I sat in a chair instead of standing. If you want something badly enough, you'll figure it out. You will ask for help. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Number three, I have fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, like many people do. I know a lot, I'm sure you do too. Stop talking about your pain all the time. Stop writing about it, stop posting about it. It gets old and it starts alienating people from you. When people say, how are you? Do not come back with, oh, my back hurts or, oh, this hurts. Mm -mm. You are more than your pain. I had a really good friend say that to me once. And after I cried a lot, I can tell you that that was some of the best advice I'd ever gotten in my life. And I've learned to work through the pain either from the couch, the bed, the chair, wherever it works, an extension cord, plug your phone in and go to work. Fact, I'm a huge introvert with ADHD and I prefer to stay home in the dark with my cat. True, true. Fact, uh, I love free trips, I love charms, I love prizes and I love recognition. Fact. I have to be intentional and go people in person and online to make my dreams come through with Scentsy. Your mindset is so crucial in life and in your Scentsy journey. I've learned that your Scentsy business doesn't grow until you do. You have to step out of that comfy, safe place and have 15 seconds of courage at a time, I always say. Push your fear aside and believe in yourself and be true to your vision, even if you feel like nobody else believes in you. You have to believe in you. Don't have a vision? How the hell do you know where you're going? How do you know if you're even getting close? Sadly, we aren't Jedis and can't you just use the Force. Although I wish I could many times. Let's just say dating for one. Your soul has a map. Tap into it. Put yourself in the driver's seat and go. 
I became a consultant in 2015 while living in New Zealand, as I mentioned before. I moved there in 2006, uh, thanks to internet dating. I watched that man die before my eyes from 2011 to 2018. I was alone in another country and I had urgency. I knew he wouldn't be around long. I had to make this work. I didn't want to have to get a job. I didn't want to have to have a roommate. I didn't want to have to move in with a friend. My vision was clear. I used every doctor's office, hospital, hospice, and other places to do Sensi for years. I did the work early in my career from 2015 till the day he died. For the first year, I went hard. I knew I could build a good foundation while he still wasn't as sick. The week Earl died, I did two home parties. I even did a party the day of his funeral. See, I knew I could cry before the funeral. I knew I could cry at the funeral. And I knew that I could cry after my party. But for three hours, I could escape sadness. I could go and share Sensi and make people laugh and smile and have fun. And I still had bills to pay. Today would have been Earl's 52nd birthday. He was a Valentine's Day baby. Can I add that 90% of the guests that showed up for me to support me at the funeral were my Sensi customers and team members. This is what you don't see in your kit. This is what you don't see when you engage. This is what you don't see when you reach out and get part of this business and do the right things that get you to your dreams. You don't see all that. You don't feel all that. Stop living like someone's always going to bail you out because you're the only one that's going to bail you out. My favorite quote, make your vision so clear that your fears become irrelevant. When you have a clear vision and you can see it as clear as day when you visualize it in your mind's eye and you want it so badly, you do things and you don't think sometimes you just do like handing out samples and trying to make people smile and doing your parties even though I didn't know how to do a party <laughs> all those things you just do them you figure out the next step when do you do the first step what is your self-talk like where do your thoughts take you does the room get dimmer when you walk in or <sighs> does it actually light up when you walk in one of those will repel people or attract the wrong ones, you know, misery loves company. And one will attract the right people with the right attitude. The only thing you can control is your thoughts, your actions, and your attitude. Now, who feels that the COVID years kicked your ass? Oh yeah. But it didn't erase your vision or your goal it's still there. It may have changed a little bit, but it's there. Respect yourself enough to rest, but not to quit. Reach up to your uplines, make a plan, then work your plan. Honor your vision. Orville once told us an uh, analogy that I've always loved, and he it was about a merry-go-round. And this is how you have to look at your business, especially when times are tough. When you go on to a merry-go-round, to get it going, you have to run and run and run and run and run and run. Once it's going, you hop on and you enjoy the ride. If you do not put your foot down every once in a while and give it a push, you will have to get off and run and run and run and run and run again. So even when times are tough, make sure you're putting your foot down and keeping the merry-go-round going. In November 20 In November 2022, I sold pretty much everything and moved from New Zealand where I always was in the top 3, where everyone knew me, where I had built like 900 customers and like 25 Sensi clubbers. 
I used to walk into an event and everyone in two countries knew me. I had earned 12 trips and then I moved back to Wisconsin and in with my mom. I started over with zero customers, zero Scentsy Club members. I went from approximately $5,000 a month to an average of $1,100 a month. I went to world tour and two people knew me. It felt lonely and very weird. Honestly, I still feel like an immigrant today in America, even though I was born here. 16 years is a long time to create a new life and then to move and have to do it again. Before I moved back, my mom said, honey, I hope you can do just as well here, but nobody knows what Scentsy is here. And I said, fantastic. <laughs> I would rather be the first experience with them than try to convince them I'm that I'm different than the other person that quit or dropped the ball. I can ensure that the first impression is a good one. I've learned it's way easier to convert strangers into customers and then into friends, amazing friends, than it is to convert friends and family members into customers, sad but true. Stop thinking you can't do this because those who love you aren't showing you love and support in your Scentsy business. Show them that you would love their support, but you certainly don't need them. You have all of America, Canada, and Mexico, for God's sakes, to share Scentsy with. You got this. They usually come around once you've been doing this a while and they see how good you're doing. So here's what I'm leaving you with. Stop caring what other people think. I know if you know me at all, you know I preach this all the time. When you care what people think, you are a prisoner to your true self. If you are always in your headspace about what people think of you, you're actually not thinking of them and making them smile and what would benefit them. Attend every Sensi event, call, Zoom, etc. It will fill you up even if your air has been let out. Engage in your leader's team page. Be part of the hype squad. Be part of the joy, not the wine barrel. Hand out 50 samples to strangers a month. Compliment and sample. Oh my God, I love your shoes. Where did you get them? They tell you, oh, thank you so much. I'm gonna go look for them or, oh, well, here's a little treat for you. Or the easier one, because if you're a chicken like me, every time you get a receipt, hand out a sample. When someone hands you a receipt, you say, thank you so much and here's a little something for you. Then you can either book it and leave until you get your confidence up, but at some point you're gonna wanna stay and get some details. Share the opportunity with people you connect with. It's a blessing and it's never about you. It's always about how it can add value to their life. Be proud to offer it to everyone and never assume people don't need it. Show up, even when you don't feel like it. Usually the excuses you have are exactly the reasons why you need to. Now, look at your neighbor and give them a high five because you showed up today. Have a great lunch, everybody, and happy Wonder World Tour. Bye.